nobody can excel in life constantly, correctly to the end of their life without operating on their hopeful levels. Service to God is the advantage for the disadvantage. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I like the way you shout hallelujah in this church. You are wonderful people. Amen. Amen. Now don't give me the hallelujah of America. Give me hallelujah of heaven. Praise the Lord. Oh. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord.
and the Lord of Lords we worship you. The everlasting Father that has no younger brothers. We have no sibling, we have no parent. The creator that was never created. God enthroned forever without a single election. You are God, the self-sustaining God. No naming ceremony yet, you have the highest numbers of names. The Bible said this is so they have fled mountains, keep at your presence. We worship you. We adore you. We magnify you. We glorify your name. Believe that in the name of Jesus. This morning we cry to you. Every wicked elders at the gates of our destiny. Father, deal with them for us. Have your way. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name. Put your hands together for Jesus. Why? Where are you going? Let's clap for them. I know they are tired of standing. They want to sit down. No, don't worry. You want to sit down. Don't, worry. don't argue. I'm the one that has the mic. So you don't argue with the pastor that has the mic. That's the privilege of the pastor. Amen. 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 We bless you, Lord. You are holy, holy God. And forever you are God. We bless you, Lord. We bless you, Lord. You are holy.
Have your way. Amen. Let your counsel stand. Amen. Let your will be done. Amen. Thank you, Holy One of Israel. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Put your hands together for Jesus. God bless you. You can go and take your seat now. Before they begin to pray in their spirit against the pastor with the gray hair. Amen. Let's clap for them. Let's clap for them. Thank you very much. God bless you. Ezekiel chapter 11 verse 1 to verse number 5. Or we are going to read verse 1 to verse 7. Now don't forget the way we read intermittently. Amen. Amen. So you will read verse 1. I alone will read verse 2. Then you will read 3, I will read 4. Until we get to 7 where we read together. Is that okay? Now, when you are reading the Bible, don't read the Bible like an Americana. God is the God of the whole earth. Do we get it? So read it with life, with your voice. Are we together? Don't read. Hi, God. I'm going to hope. I'm going to hide. No. Read it with fire in your voice. If two people enter into any clinic, and one is telling the doctor, yeah, doctor, I have a pain here. And the other one is shouting, more bill. <laughs> Who among the two would the doctor test first? Okay, so if the voice of your neighbor overshadow your voice, God may answer him or her before you. He will still answer you, but we answer somebody first. Who wants God to answer him or her first? Good. So, we go. One to go. Ezekiel chapter 11, verse 1. Yes? To me, son of man, these are the men who devise iniquity and give wicked counsel in this city. Verse 3. Therefore, prophesy against them. Prophesy, O son of man. Verse 5. And you are filled the street with the slain. Verse number seven. Please, let's continue until we get to a level. Verse number eight, I want to read. You have feared the sword, and I will bring a sword upon you. See the Lord, verse nine, everybody. Verse number 10, you shall fall by this world. I will judge you at the border of Israel. Die! You shall know that I am the Lord. Verse 11. Let's continue, computer verse number 12. And you shall know that I am the Lord, for you have not walked in my status, nor executed my judgment, but you have done according to the customs of the Gentiles, which are all around you, verse 13. Of 
Verse number 14, again the word of the Lord came to me saying, Son of man, your brethren, your relatives, your countrymen, and all the house of Israel in its entirety are those about whom the inhabitants of Jerusalem have said, Get away from the Lord. This land has been given to us as a possession. Father, we ask once again that you open our understanding to the mysteries of your kingdom. For to us is given to know. Bless us through your word. Why your word, oh God, flows this morning? Let there be healing. Let there be deliverance. Lord, I'm asking, let your word be accurate. Let your name be glorified. Thank you, Jesus Christ. I ask you, Lord, for the free flow of the spirit of the living God, even in this auditorium, and those that are far from us. Glory be to your name. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Yeah. Briefly this morning, I'd like to share with us on what I call evil elders at the gate. Dealing with the evil old elders at the gate. The case we read was a common case, you know, in the scripture. Here were the elders, if you go to chapter number 8 of this same book of Ezekiel, the Bible called them 70 elders. Whenever there was no service in the church, they come to the altar. And inside the altar, all you see on the wall was just a single dot. And the Bible said, God raised last in the night. God told the pastor, wake up. I'd like to show you a mystery you know nothing about. And the man said, the mystery, where? And God said, go to the church. You will see the wonders tonight. And the pastor came into church, only for him to get to the church. And he said, God, there's nothing here. Uncle, there is more to life than the visible. There is more to life. If you come to my office, that's the first thing you see at my door. I put it there boldly. There is more to life than what you see. Are we together? And so, when the God here God said, you don't know anything. You only pastor the church unknown to you. There are more to what you see by day and by night. And God said, Go to the altar. And Pastor Ezekiel came to the altar. Shakarababa. And God said, Stop your shakarababa. I like to show you a mystery, a wonder that you know nothing about. And he said, What is it? And God said, Can you see an ink on the altar? He said, Yes, I see. I can see the dot of a of, of, of an ink. And God said, just touch it. There's a door there. And he said, no, it's not possible. How can there be a door inside a dot? How can there be a door inside a dot? I am praying for somebody today. That opportunity that look as if there is nothing there. The Lord will widen the gate for you. The Lord will widen the gate for you. The Lord will open the door for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. And this man Touch it. And the Bible says from the dot, he could assess the computer. And from the computer, he could assess the website. And from the website, and the Bible says he saw a door inside the dot. And when you entered, ah, and the Bible says God told him, open the door. On the altar. And he saw 70 elders. Of Israel, what were they doing? They were wasting the destiny of the younger generation. They were meeting occultic power on the altar by night. And God said, Have you seen this now? And the man, and God told him, Tongue chapter 8, verse 5, verse 6, verse 7. God said, Look at what they do by night, so that I, God, will not enter my house. It means there are some things that could be carried out in the church that can restrain God from coming in. And there is nothing you can do that's true. But there are some things that wickedness has restrained the hand of God from doing. He said, my hands is not shutting. In that my ears too heavy to hear you. He said, but something has happened. And the Bible says, Ezekiel was angry. And he said, How oh dear the 70 elders, elders so, so, and so, so you are among them. Elders so, so, and so. And 
And out of anger, the Bible says Ezekiel began to prophesy against them. God told Ezekiel, begin to prophesy against them. So Ezekiel will wake up at night. Kaurashanda. Elder so so and so. Is it that you repent or you give way? You repent or you do what? You better realize before you are wasted. That was the prayer of Ezekiel. And in chapter 11, the first among the elders fell down and died shamefully. When he died, the remaining 69 started calling each other. Oluo. Akbeno is gone. No. It's like the prayer of that boy is working. It's like the prayer of that guy is working. But we tried to stop him from going to America. How come he got to America? And now he's praying. What do we do about this matter? Hey! And before they opened their eyes, the second in command fell down and died. I don't know how many of you remember the testimony of the general of Asia. Our daddy, the Lord, Pastor Yadeboe. I was invited to a place to come and minister. And he ministered from Psalm 24. Lift up your head, O ye gate. By the time he gave out a call, the entire team of the Oboni in that vicinity, they left their house, they came for altar call. So, two, three, four of them who joined church eventually were discussing one day and they said that after that day we gave our life, that the Akbeno was asking us, ah, ah, come on. But if people are stronger than that small boy called Pastor Deboye, how come he gave altar call and you people went, said, ah, can't we hear what he was preaching? How he dealt with the elders. How his God did this and that. I don't want to be the next victim. That same week, that happened not passed on. Brethren, we have power as children of God. There are powers at the gate. I told you on Thursday. I said, whosoever controls the gate, controls the wealth. I told you on Thursday. That death is not for children. That is where major decisions of the nations are taken. Decisions of your establishments are taken. Most great people in life, they are the ones that sit at the gate. The John Kerry of America. He's not a federal executive council minister. But he's the head of what? Climate change. And yet, member of Security Council. Is that true? Do you know that there are others who are not mentioned? You may never have even seen their name on the screen of television. But they are actually the power brokers of this nation. These people sat down and said, Without us, nothing moves. And Ezekiel said, it's a lie. Something will move. I remember in my nation, where I pastor, don't worry, it's a sign of life. Where there is life, there's movement. Okay? Where there's life, there's movement. And where you see children, there's future. Is that true? And when you see children, there's future. And let me share this with you. We don't know where your own angel is. But Jesus Christ said, the angel of the children are in the presence of God. So we don't know. Maybe your own angel are in Oregon or in Oregon. <laughs> you can do your work now. <laughs> so deal with children softly. Praise the Lord. In my country, I was invited to come and minister in a radio station. I went to the radio station to minister. You know, we speak Portuguese in my country. When I finished, I thanked the lady that invited me and I appreciated her. So I got home. I was happy. Hey, Shakarabara, at night. Hey, Father, I thank you. Yarabara, you as a pastor. Amen. And then my interpreter called me at 5 a.m. Sir, there's a problem. That was Monday morning. Because we went there on Sunday afternoon. It was a live program. 
And then he said, the former DG of that government owns Parastata. Call the lady that invited me. How dare you invite the Christian preacher to defile our national heritage by preaching on our radio station? You are sack. That by next week, Monday, I will be seeing the minister to demand for your letter of sack. So she started crying. Hey, so my interpreter called me and told me. I said, interpreter, he said, yes. Ah, is that all? He said, yes. Why is she crying? He said, ah, sir, it's difficult to get another job. This Africa, ah. I said, go and tell her. If they sack her, she should burn the Bible and tell all her family never to serve Jesus again. It's on the internet. It's on the internet. Because they were commenting. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, the woman was crying. <laughs> that the man has eventually book an appointment with the minister. <laughs> when is he meeting the minister? Said he's meeting the minister on Monday afternoon. I said again, go and tell her. That I, the pastor invite, she invited, said, if they sack her on account of this, she should go and burn her Bible. Then it means no hope that Jesus is coming again. Because, let me share this with you, he has ability to defend himself. Jesus Christ has the ability. Unfortunately, many Christians don't know what we carry. But I don't, I don't worry yourself. It will not stand. Isaiah 7 verse 7. He said, shall not stand, neither shall it come to pass. Forget the threat. And then, so by Sunday, she called my interpreter. Oh, it's too late. Though. The people around the minister confirmed to me that they have confirmed the appointment of the man with the minister. In other words, nothing changed it. I said, fear not. So, the former DG was a very strong aborigine. You know, somebody said, the witches of the English-speaking nations are inferior to that of the French. But the French are inferior to the Portuguese. Because in our country, my wife will tell you, they sell charm openly. It's a business, a normal business. Witchcraft is legalized. You see them dressing to go for witchcraft meeting openly. Not in your dream. They go. <laughs> Are we together? Yes. I remember the first time I got there. And normally I wake up at you know, 2 a.m. And I was praying. My wife had not joined me then and the children. I was praying a little. Then I, I said, no, let me break the power of fear. Let me leave this room and go into the compound. So I went outside. I started praying. I was praying. Then I started hearing drum from afar. So I started dancing <laughs> to the drum. I said, wow, there is. So these people too, they do vigil, yeah. I started dancing. Hey, Amen. I started dancing. I started dancing. So when I woke up and I got to the office the next morning, I called our accountant. I said, how are you? He said, fine. I said, ah, this nation, you people are highly religious. You people are blessed. While I was praying at night, I could hear some people. They were also beating drum. Maybe they are doing crusade. He said, which side? I said, this area the sound was coming from. Ah. He said, that's the school of the witches. I said, Mugbe. <laughs> so, they were beating their drum. And I was responding. <laughs> so, the man was a very strong occultic man. And that was why I was fighting. No gospel must be preached from the radio. 
he took his bath, he took his breakfast, he sat down, the appointment was 10 o'clock, he was ready by 8. Driving to the office was just about 20 minutes. Where he sat down, he died there. He died. I'm praying for somebody who serves stand at the gate of your destiny. God will kill them. Oh my God. I can't hear your amen. Whosoever stand against you at the gate of your destiny, may God kill them for you. May God kill them for you. There are powers at the gate. You heard them where we read. They said this city is our own. This organization, nobody is getting promoted without us. If you don't come for us to sleep with you, you can never be promoted. Until tell them you have Jesus Christ. Don't let them defile you. If you don't bribe us, you will never be lifted. Tell them there is a God that rules in the affairs of men. He is the one who lifts up the poor out of being a non-entity and make him a some entity. Nobody to somebody. Never allow them to subdue you. We live in a generation that doesn't honor God. And if you keep quiet, they will make mess of the God you serve. So the woman called, hey, somewhere, somewhere, on the star, where are you somewhere? Hey, the DG is gone. And if you know Portuguese generation, they don't wait in burying people. Quickly, they start preparation for burial. So I told Samuel, we will attend this burial service. So that we'll be sure when they lower him, cover him, and go for reception. And the lady asked, what is next, pastor? I said, no, look for the next person who wants to counter you. Just tell him, you want to die next? <laughs> That's just it. It's a simple way. I, I told her, uh, no problem. Who wants to die next will rise against you. That's why if you have Jesus Christ, there are powers at the gate. Life is beyond what we can see naturally. In Judges chapter 1, Judges chapter 1, verse 5 to 7. You read the story of a man called Adonibezek there, chapter 1, verse 5 to verse 7. Adonibezek was a great elder in the land. Unfortunately, Adonibezek don't attack non-entities. Adonibezek doesn't attack who? On entities. He looked for people with great potentials. He will cut their tomb. Boom! So that in life they will be destabilized. Because without the tomb, how do you eat? How do you hold things? And when he came to the gate of the Israelite. The Israelite told him, Brother, you can conquer any nation, no problem. But don't come to Russell. Because we serve a God, Kylia, that ruleth in the affairs of men. You can challenge any gate and go free, no problem. But, Uncle, don't try us. He said, how dare you say that to me? I will try you. I'm coming to pick your king. He doesn't pick ordinary people. He pick the anointed. He pick people with potential to rule kingdoms. Go to verse 6, computer. Computer. <laughs> verse 6. Good. Then at the university fled after the Israelites rose up against him. The Israelites said, 
We will not surrender to you like unbelievers. We will resist unto the level of the blood. We will rather die than to be subdued by you. And if you have learned the story of the Israelites, Israelites don't give in easily. Even unto this day. Unto what? You know, they are still begging them now. Mekunu, please, Mekunu, 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 please. So, since October 7, they said, no, UN said this, US beg, in Germany, everybody beg them. They said, no, we are Israeli. Hey, your best bet is don't touch us. If you don't touch us, we will not touch you. But if you touch us, and so, Adonai Bezek, when he rose against the Israelites, hear what happens to him. They rose up against him. And whenever the Israelites are fighting, you will see an element of the finger of God at work. I don't know how many of you are watching YouTube of recent. A particular diplomat that was giving speech against them, against them that, that slump. You, you watch it. That's not normal. Why was it that it was at the point of cursing them, of doing this and that? He just slump. An angel just said, Ben <laughs> He passed on before his time. In other words, the Israelites were ready to fight. I'm saying this to you, this one, so that when it is time for us to pray, be prepared to fight. Any elders at the gate, any wicked elders at the gate of your destiny. No pastor will do it for you. You have to fight yourself. And the Bible says they dealt with him. The same way he was cutting the toe and the tombs of the people. They cut his own. Verse 7, computer. And Adonai Basic said, look at what he said. He said, 70 kings with their what? Tombs and big toes. Cut off. Used to eat under the straps under my table. And as I have done, so God has repaid me. May anyone who rose up against you, may God rise against them. Then they brought him to Jerusalem. And there, what happens to him? Where he was supposed to conquer, that's where he died. Whosoever prepare pit for you this year, they will die in that same pit. Every arrow sickness against you. Back to center in the name of Jesus. Time we fail me to talk to you about a city in the New Testament. Mark chapter 8 from verse 22 to 26. A city gate. There were invisible forces there and yet Jesus was there. In Mark chapter 8 from verse 22. The Bible said they brought a man that was what? Blind. They brought him to Jesus. And they told Jesus Christ, we've taken him round. No solution. The doctor said it was cataract. Another doctor said it was uh, retinal detachment. Uh, this one, that one. Hey, there are all kinds of medical names were given. Then, Jesus Christ did not pray for that man there. He took him out of Ohio. I probably relocated him to New Jersey. Hear me? And Bible said Jesus Christ prayed for him there. And he asked him, what do you see? The man said, I saw men like tree for the first time. Ah. He said, now you are trying. Before you begin to go and carry cutlass and start cutting tree. <laughs> Meanwhile, thinking you are cutting tree, but you are cutting men. Let me lay hands on you for the second time. <laughs> so he laid hands on him for the second time. Hear this. After laying hands on him for the second time, his eyes were open properly. That wasn't 
what touched me. What touched me was that Jesus Christ now told him in verse 26. He said, brother, don't go back to that city. Then he sent him away to his house, saying, neither go into the town, nor tell anyone in the town. There are powers beyond what we see at the gate. We read on Thursday, John chapter 18, verse 15 and 16, how Jesus was going with two people. And they got to the gate. Jesus entered. The other guy entered. But Peter, something stopped him. And Bible never mentioned who stopped him. But when he was stopped, he was struggling to go in. And then Jesus got to send the other person back to go and help him. Only for that one to come back. And the Bible says, and he said unto her. Who was the she there? Who was that pronoun, female woman? Who was that old, old, old village that was manipulating Peter. And yet Peter could not. Whosoever controls the gate controls the city. Whosoever controls the gate controls the world. Whosoever controls the gate controls the security. Whosoever controls the gate is the most relevant. Whosoever controls the gate has the domineering power. This morning, let us from today, let no power dominate you. Let them not take over your gate. You must take a step against them. Because dangers of leaving your gate for the strangers. There are dangers. And I'm going to read out those dangers so that we can pray. I went to a particular house in Nigeria. To visit somebody. I was about to enter the house. At the doorpost of the house. Not the gate now. I passed the gate. The main building. Something dropped on my hand. Oh. So I felt, ah, there's no rain. Where is something dropping? Then I look up. And I saw a calabash hang. Soaked with some oil. Ah. So I rubbed my head. Who is one of this thing? He said, ah, no, don't go there. I said, why? He said, it was Baba that hung it before he passed on. And do you know, I started asking questions. What happened? Robbers were robbing in that vicinity. So because he wanted to protect his house, he went to the herbalist. Then they prepared a charm for him. That charm, he will hang it by his doorpost with a little broom. When robbers come in, they will rob, they will do everything. They will not argue with the robbers. When they finish, they are about to go, they will carry that broom and look for other brooms and start sweeping. They will be sweeping. When they finish sweeping, they will scatter it on their own. Then they will start sweeping again. In other words, they are hypnotized until police will come peacefully and cuff them. Then their eyes will be open. Foolishly, the man never shared with anybody the passcode, the password, how to renew the covenant. Because our current computer was their own ancient forces. So, the password he never shared with anyone. And then God killed him. When he died, everyone inside that compound, nothing good comes in, nothing good goes out. All the beautiful ladies are there, no marriage. The guy I went to see was a master degree holder. He has masters in two fields. Yet, he's a cleaner in a Kurudu in one Indian company. Why was he a cleaner? He said, you are overqualified to be our accountant. Overqualified. 
He said, unfortunately, we have employed an accountant. But wait. If you can wait and we sack him, then you will become our accountant. But meanwhile, can you be working as a cleaner? That's how he joined me to become a cleaner, waiting. He has two masters. <laughs> I am praying for you. Every strong man at the gate, wasting your potential. God will kill them today. American church, wake up. There is more to life than the visible. There are wicked elders at the gates. And then I told them, today we will break this calabash. They said, ah, Pastor, not sure. We don't know how Baba hang it. You need to see all the tenants in that house. They are moving like rich people. But they are all wretched and poor. They can't afford to pay house rent again. And yet, because they, they can't afford to pay for a new place. So where are they moving out to? So they just stayed there. They are now eternal heirs to the property. Because they all the vehicle, Range Rover, Citron, they were all on Odo. I don't know Odo in English. Motor. They are standing on the motor because they've removed the tires. Citron. Range Rover. Dilapidated building. No, nothing goes in. Nothing comes out. Because the demon that was assigned to work with that charm, he has finished his positive assignment. Don't worry yourself. It's a sign of the living. God bless you. Amen. Ushers, you can help me now. That's a, God bless you. Amen. God bless you. Amen. Praise the Lord. God bless you. Amen. It's a sign of the living. Praise the Lord. In the grave, children don't move around. Is that true? And so it's a sign of the living. Brethren, there are powers. Finally, maybe I can share one with you more before I close. Was the case of a particular elder. Elderly woman, very old. He used to bring her out of the house once in a week and put her in the sun so that sun can dry her body. And she couldn't see again by virtue of age. Not because she was blind naturally. No. By virtue of what? Age. And she... Uh, so whenever the great grandchildren comes around to bar for her and take her into the sun in their presence, all her children are dead. Her grandchildren have started dying. So she will sneeze <laughs> and laugh. That means anytime an antelope sneeze, covenant of death is broken that day. She will just sneeze. <laughs> and she will make a proclamation. Unfortunately for her, the lady that went to bath and put her in the sun that day was already a born again fire brand child of God. So when she sneezed and said that, the sister said, Mama, if a born sneeze, antelope sneeze, Again today, the hunter will recock his gun. Today, hunter will kill the antelope. And I said, ah, why are you saying that? Do I allow the hunter to recock? He said, no, hunter will recock. Ah, what kind of antelope? That all the children of the antelope are dead. The grandchildren have started dying. And there was the antelope still doing in the world. She died the following day. Are we together? Never joke with elders at the gate. Because if they take over the gate, Proverbs 
29 verse 2. There will always be mourning and weeping. Proverbs. When the righteous are on the authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked man rule, the people groan. Why many of us are groaning? It's because there's somebody at the gate. Di diverting blessing. I remember very well when we first got married. We're living in a house along the airport road in Abuja. Amen. And then uh, in the night, I was praying. So, because that's what my father taught me. So, go, go in the name of Jesus. Ra, 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 ra. I was praying. Then I had a dream. I slept off. I slept on the floor in the parlor and I had a dream. I saw something like a bed from heaven, from heaven, dropped and came straight to Abuja, from Abuja, came straight to that location, came straight into our compound, came straight to my doorpost and dropped there. And it turned to a little rat and crept inside my door where I lied down and enter there, it's like entering into my body. In the dream. Suddenly I woke up. And somebody was knocking on the door. The wife of our neighbor. I will never forget. She knocked. You only say, go, 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 go. At five o'clock in the morning. And she said, hi, my brother, how are you? I said, fine. He said, my son forgot something here last night. Can you bring it out for me? Then I suddenly, I, said, ah, I remember my dream. And I remember the warning from my father who taught me things. And I said, no. He only said, your son did not come to my house. Neither forget anything here. I said, are you sure? I said, I'm too sure. Check your room very well. It enter is there in your room. I said, no. I said, okay. And she left. That same day, somebody dashed me a new vehicle for the first time in my life. That was the day we entered into a new life. That same month, another person dashed us a house in Garikeri Aten. So we are not talking about Asket of Abuja. Garikeri Aten. Furnish the house for us free of charge. If she has succeeded, they were the gatekeepers ritually. They knew what was coming from the heavenlies. Wake up, my brother. Wake up, my sister. What do you do? Uh, if they take wickedness is multiplied when they rule. Psalm 12, verse 8. Let me finish those ones. When Psalm 12, verse 8. They multiply wickedness. Life will be much more difficult everywhere you face. Rejection, shame, reproach, all kinds of challenges. Where others are smiling, you are groaning. They multiply wickedness. Don't allow them to take your gate. Job 34, verse 30. Amen. They ensnare people. Try upon trials. Job 34, verse 30. Then Proverbs 28, verse 12. They make men scarce. In other words, no marriage. You just discover that you are doing everything. You are beautiful. You are handsome. You are everything. But it's just not working. Check it. This morning, it's time for those things to be dealt with. It's time for God to set you free. You are in this place today. You are the most privileged person because God will deal with those issues. Ecclesiastes chapter 10, verse 5 to 6. Ecclesiastes chapter 10, verse 5 to 6. When they stand at your gate, when they rule at your gate, evil and error will always be visible around you. Somebody tried to fight us sometimes ago, I will never forget. I didn't know how to deal with him. I didn't know. He was a strong man. So I started fasting. I started fasting. No food. 
to when I crossed 22, 23 days without food. He called for a meeting. I said, all of us must be there. I knew it was because of me. And he said, all of us must eat in that meeting. So I said, sir, no. You can force the horse to the river, but you can't force him to drink water. You can give me my food. Let me go home with it. I'm not eating. So they gave me my food, and I gave it to the security at the gate of that place where we had the meeting. I, get, I told that guy, whoa, ochi shori re, eron lano kosi yo. Big, big meat. Eat your portion. Eat. So, he was, he ate. And then, I was ready for anything. I remember about, about four or five days later, he called me. I said, my brother, don't allow Satan to use you against me. I don't know what happened. I was the one that picked my pen and I query my boss in the office. Error. He queried his own boss. He wrote, and his boss said, are you mad? So for about four or five years, he was suspended. So he said, please pray for me. Please pray for me. I know you are fasting. I know you are fasting. Ah. I said, sir, don't worry. When I cross after 33 days, the last seven days, we can pray together. He said, okay, sir. He said, okay. He was dealt with. I remember he almost shut the door against our destiny totally. Nobody will have heard about us in life again. We'll have remained in a particular village. Brethren, it's time to take your place. Never joke with it. Never joke with it. But that you are here this morning, it's time for God to do something about you. Rise up on your feet. Before we pray, you are there, you have not given your life to Jesus. You need to. Because the prayer we are going to pray is a warfare prayer. Are we together? Is it what? Warfare prayer. Warfare prayer. Warfare prayer. Warfare. There, are, there is more to life than the visible. There are powers at the gate. I was age 14. Age 14. My father, you will be praying. <laughs> Let help come from all over the world to us. So, uh, 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 we are giving that to every day. Suddenly, unknown to us, they discuss in London. And they say, Let's go and pick that boy, the son of Babolosho, to come to London. He will work with us, and then we will bless him. We send him to school. We do this, we do that for him. And the package money, they were coming to my father's house to come and pick me. Two buildings to my father's house. Elders at the gate met them. How are you, auntie? So, so, so long time, sir. What are you doing here? He said, ah, I want to come and pick Paomo Babolo Shaw. We are taking him to London. And I said, ah, these guys are area boys. Don't take him to London. Let me give you somebody in a social village. And they gave them a winch to go. Years later, the woman was confessing after hot fire of prayer. He said, We're the one who stood as so so and so. They would have picked Kunle, but we were the one who said they will never leave this place. So I too, by then, I've learned the act of fasting and prayer. 40 days, no food. I told the people around me, if that mama die ordinary death, nobody should believe Jesus again. <laughs> she died on Okada. Do you understand Okada? Uh, bicycle, transit. That's why she's the person. I like you to, if you are not born again, please don't joke with it. We want to pray hot prayer now. But as we pray, some things may be happening around you, and maybe nothing may happen around you. It doesn't matter. Falling is not a sign. Are we together? Uh -huh. uh, rising. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Everything is about God and God alone. Play your part by praying. 
Just do your prayer this morning. So if you are there, you have not given your life to Christ, give me a minute, everybody. All eyes closed, all eyes bowed, close your eyes. You want to surrender your life to Jesus? Just let me see your right hands up. I want to pray for you one-on-one. -on -one. Because of what you want to do now. God bless you. God bless those hands. God bless those hands. Any other hand? Any other hand? Just say after me, Lord Jesus, I come before you. I'm a sinner. Show me mercy. Today, I surrender unto you. I confess you as my Lord and Savior. I confess with my mouth. I believe in my heart that Jesus Christ, you came into this world, you died on the cross of Calvary. On the third day, you died. I mean, on the third day, you were exalted and you went to heaven. You are coming back again. This I believe and I confess. Therefore, write my name in the book of life. Thank you, Father, in Jesus' name. Father, I thank you for this soul. I pray for her that, Lord, you will accept her in Jesus' name. I ask you the ancient of days that you write her name in the book of life. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. I'd like you to pray now. Just this very simple prayer, but I wish you will pray. Please pray. God only answers prayer. Prayer is a work, so it needs effort. Put effort into your prayer. Are we together? Say, Father. Father. Oh my God. I wish you can say it louder. Don't allow the voice of your neighbor to overshadow your own voice. Say, Father. Father. Every strong man, Every strong man. At, the gate of my at the gate of my destiny wasting away my life. <laughs> wasting away the, my destiny. Today. 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 Let them be wasted. Lift up your voice and pray now. Pray your own prayer. Every strong man, every strong man, at the gate of my destiny, every strong man, at the gate of my destiny, Every power of the waster must be wasted. 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 your father in Jesus mighty name we pray King Uzziah stood against a great pastor until that pastor was uprooted even God didn't do anything the Bible says in the year King Uzziah died Isaiah saw lifting he saw glory for the first time his life changed you are going to pray any man or woman that is still alive that is delaying the manifestation of my own destiny. Father, settle them. Settle my matter today. Let them be laid to rest. Lift up your own voice and pray. In the year King Uzziah died, I saw the Lord. I saw the Lord. High and lifted. I saw the glory. He saw glory, he saw lifting for the first time.
In Jesus' mighty name we pray. We are going to pray. King Agag was beheaded by Samuel. And it was at the commandment of God that he should be beheaded. Because Saul failed to kill him. And Samuel picked his word at the commandment of God and said, your mother will become childless today. And beheaded him. In book of Esther, chapter number 3 from verse 1, if you read it at your own time, you will discover a man called Aman. Bible call him Aman, the Agagite. He was from the root of the Agai. He just wanted vengeance against the Jew at all costs. And so, he was ready to sponsor evil against them. Brethren, he paid for the bill that was passed against them. He ensured death sentence against the Jew. But something happened, brethren. <laughs> the God of Israel, don't joke with him. God defended his name. You know the rest of the story. But you are going to pray. Any man, any woman on evil assignment, on revenge mission, some of them, you are not the one who offended them. It was your parents or grandparents. And they said, we will deal with you and your children's children. You are going to pray. My case is a special case. Whosoever on revenge mission against my destiny, you will not survive December 2023. Lift up your voice and begin to pray. Lift up your voice and begin to pray. Lift up your voice and begin to pray. Whosoever. Any man, any woman. On evil revenge assignment. Let them fall into their pit. Let them fall into their pit. Let them fall into their pit. Let them fall into their own pit. But whosoever they get the pit shall fall in their ring. prayer point you are going to pray is that God have they cut off my own tongue have they shaved my ear the ear of my Samson you that made the ear of Samson to grow again let my opportunity come alive they may have told you your opportunity is gone I'm talking to somebody in our midst now but if the year of something grew again, your opportunity will come alive. Your opportunity will come alive. Your opportunity will come alive. Say, Father, say, Father, say, Father, whatever potential in my life that may have been taken away, let them be restored by fire. In the name of Jesus. Lift up your voice and pray now. Every potential in me that was taken away.
Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. I want to beg you to do something now. You will help me just cry Jesus. Who do you call? Jesus. Please don't allow the voice of your neighbor to overshadow your voice. There were thousands of people around Jesus on the way to Jericho. But only Bartimaeus' voice, the loudest voice, Jesus Christ had. And he responded. Bartimo, Bible said they told him, keep quiet. You are in America. Come on, don't shout. As if, come on, here is, Ore, here is Oregon. This is not Oregon. Don't shout as if you are in Oregon. This is America. Bible says he shouted the more. And Jesus Christ turned back and said, Peter, Peter, go and bring the guy. Go and bring him for me. Because he shouted. Be prepared to shout. And your shout is whose name? That's a, those of you that are sick, suddenly you will see sickness disappearing in your body this Sunday. Those of you that ask one challenge or the other, you find yourself being pursued by mad people in your dream. It's terminated from now on. Whosoever pursue you again, they will stumble and die. Be prepared. Be prepared. Be prepared. Be prepared. They cut your hair in your dream. And then you woke up, you can feel it that something is missing. So as the Lord called leave it, as we begin to shout Jesus, suddenly that very ear will grow again. That potential will be restored back to you. As we begin to shout Jesus, is a name that opens the door. Every strong man at the gate of your destiny who have said you will not get your own document. Who have said you will be stranded. There will be no help for you. There will be this and that. Let me tell you, God will put them to shame today. So be prepared now. As you will be roaring, Jesus, once you shout him, once keep quiet and close your eyes. As the Lord God leave it, as you call him, he is the one. I'm not the one you are calling. He will respond to you. I, I say he will respond to you. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Shout Jesus! called Jesus the second time I decree as many that are tied down Matthew 21 Jesus Christ said go ye into a village where two ways met you will see a cult tied down he said go into the village he didn't say go into town he said we're going to go village he, why? Because there was no noise in Jerusalem. Everywhere was quiet, unknown to the inhabitants of Jerusalem. It was because some people tied down a goat in a village. And Jesus Christ said, We couldn't lose them. Say, but when you are about to lose the goat, a power from the gate will resist you. He said, Tell them. You better lift up your head, O ye gates. <laughs> and allow the king of glory to have his way over this brother, over this sister. As we cry Jesus the second time. Whatever that was tied down representing you on any evil altar. It will catch fire now. That altar will crash down now. 
be prepared, be prepared, be prepared, be prepared. Shout Jesus! Uh -huh. Yes, 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 yes! Uh -huh. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, your true identity has just appeared. Your true potential has just arrived. Number three is the number that has to attack resurrection. Jonah was thrown under the sea. It was the third day he came forth. Jesus Christ was buried. It was the third day he resurrected. On the third day, Genesis chapter 1, God commanded everything under the earth. Come forth. As we cry Jesus the third time, whatever that is buried against any of you under the sound of my voice, as you write Jesus now, that thing buried the earth with vomit it. Anything buried that is affecting your own destiny. As we cry Jesus. As we cry Jesus. As we cry Jesus the third time. In the name that is above every other name. Every glory buried anywhere. I decree and I declare as you cry Jesus now, let the power of resurrection strike there. Amen. Everybody shout Jesus! As you call Jesus the fourth time, from the north, east, west, and south, divine help us from far and near. When Christ was born, they came from far country to bless him. Whatever that has made people reject you, Whatever that has cared help us from you. As you call Jesus this fourth time, may those things disappear. 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 Every negative hand upon you. Whatsoever that scares and pass away. Whatever that makes you to commit error in the presence of your helper. May God destroy. 
destroy those things now. May God destroy them 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 now. In the name of Jesus. May God destroy them now. In the name of Jesus. May God destroy them now. In the name of Jesus. Fourth time. North, east, west, south. Where you least expected, help we come. Good news 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 we come. Everybody shout Jesus! Everybody shout Jesus!
God bless you. Ask God now for what you want God to do for you. Before we call Jesus the seventh time, please ask God what do you want God to do for you. Ask God. Ask God now. Ask God. Just pray. God is here. It's not by power. It's not by might. It's not by power. It's not by might. It's not by power. It's not by might. God is here. God is here. Ask God. Ask God. What do you want God to do for you? That's one of the... That's one of the things that will make you know that truly God is here. Where you have answers to your request. We're in a church. God is here. We're in a church. God is here. We're in a church. God is here. When a church God is here, talk to God, talk to God, talk to God. We're almost there. Talk to God. Talk to God. We're almost there. Just talk to God. 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 Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Now open your eyes, look at me. How many of you believe God is here? Now, I don't want to take our time, but believe you me, God is here. And um, the power of God is going to come upon you now. Some of you will speak in tongue. Some of you will prophesy now. Some of you will tell us things about people you have not even met. You will hear it yourself now. Because if I have to begin to point, sometimes they think it's the pastor that is doing it. Amen. So you are going to call Jesus the seventh time. Please, when you call Jesus the seventh time, prepare to call Jesus the seventh time. And um, just release yourself. The Spirit of God will come upon you mightily. Some of you we begin to blast in tongue. Some of you will not say anything. Some of you we begin to see things. Be, just be prepared. Anything can happen in his presence. Be prepared. It's God. It's not man. And church is a spiritual center. And life is more than the visible. Are we, are we together? God bless you. Be prepared to call Jesus. Just shout Jesus. Trust the Holy Spirit to come upon you. As it comes upon you, power for performance will come. And you begin to see what God can do. What God can do. What God can do. What God can do. After this meeting, many of you will thank God that you waited for this program. And that you attended this program. Many of you. Many of you. I don't know if she's here. Pastor can bear me witness. There's one of you, when I came here the last time, was telling me, ah, Pastor, who's go, who's go, Nigerian Limited. Let it be now, 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 now. And I said, no, God told me by November this will happen. And I think she called Pastor, called us and said, ah, it happened in this November. Are we together? Your own good news, as the Lord God leave it, as the new year is knocking the door, your good news will accompany the new year. Believe you me, the power of God is going to come upon you now. The Spirit of God is going to come upon you now like never before. Some of you, when you are going home, suddenly you start blasting a tongue. Some of you, it's when you get home. Some of you, it's from here. Some of you, I don't know, some of you, it will be in the night. But something will happen. Something will happen. Lamentation 
chapter number 1, verse 13. Lamentation 1, 13. He said, from heaven above, as he sent fire into my bone. As we call Jesus the third time, the seventh time now. Fire will enter into your bone like never before. Are we ready to call Jesus? Are we ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Everybody shout Jesus! Spirit of the living God, I worship you. I magnify you, the creator of heaven and earth. I welcome you afresh. Be glorified in the name of Jesus. We are all expectant. It's not by our power. It's not by our might. Therefore, Lord, Everyone here came to church to look for you. Reveal yourself to us. I have told them you are powerful, you can do all things. Father, manifest your power in their lives. The Bible said the rejected stone has now become the cornerstone, it is the lost thing. It says, Whoever falleth upon this stone shall be broken into pieces. Upon whosoever this son shall fall, it shall grind him to powder. Anyone that fall against you, they will die for your sake. Yeah. Whosoever want to reverse what God has done for you, the Lord God himself, who dealt with King Uzziah, he will deal with them. Yeah. I stand on this living altar today and I make a proclamation over you. The name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. What was dead in your life comes alive afresh. Amen. That glory, that blessing comes alive afresh. Amen. Thank you, Father. Somebody trusting God, baby boy, baby, this one will I get. Amen. I decree. Heaven confirm it for you in the name of Jesus. In this meeting, heaven confirm yours in the name of Jesus. Someone is crying, when will it be? I've had this thing coming before. When will it be? But I've been asked to tell you, this is your set time. It is your set time. Time to favor Zion is now. It is your set time. The Lord favor you in the name of Jesus. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Jesus' mighty name we pray.